first of all, uh, Namrata, thank you so much. Uh, I'm seeing her after such a long time, so I'm excited. Muli, congratulations uh, on your book. Um, to be very honest, I glanced through it, okay. um, and I saw some very interesting names in the book, uh, like Agostini and Halewood. And, uh, so I was very, very excited, and, and I, I promise you, um, given the time, I'm definitely going to read this book. Um, talking about uh, uh, home, um, I graduated from trains. Uh, I used to go by train to Kerala and come back and Namrita uh, uh, and I went to Jehan College and then I uh, started riding a motorcycle there later on. Uh, that was my first bike. Uh, there was a Yamaha RD350 and uh, I used to get very hyper when our college students used to sit on it. So it actually made my blood boil and I was like, oh my god. And it really didn't matter how pretty the girl was, but she wouldn't sit on my motorcycle, you know. Kerala, uh, I've, I've spent uh, one or two months, uh, a year of my en entire life practically, barring the last 15 or 17 years, uh, going back home to a place called Alubai, uh in Kerala, uh, where my uh, father was born. And um, we don't have too many people there, but I still keep uh, going back there once in a way. It's a beautiful place. Uh, I love uh, uh, the Kerala breakfast. I love putters. I love appams. And uh, I, I enjoy that space. So going back there is always uh, going back to one part of my home. So the other part of my home, of course, is uh, Bombay. Like we, we called it because mom's from here. So the two sides of me. But definitely going back is a lot of fun. But that's the beauty about Kerala. And I think it's... Uh, it's fantastic and uh, Murli can vouch for this. You can see a temple, a mosque and a church uh, within like 10 meters of each other peacefully coexisting without any problem whatsoever. Am I right Murli? There's absolutely no issue there. So, uh, you know, uh, seeing what's happening to the world today, uh, you know, and the entire world is getting very polarized. I think Kerala's... Uh, an example of a place where uh, religion and uh, you know religion and communities can coexist so peacefully. The other extreme is uh, I, I still remember uh, when Fidel Castro passed away. Uh, I went to Kerala, and that was the only state where they had his posters and his holdings all over to mourn his death. So Kerala is really communist in in, and I see that in my father also. Yeah, my my father was a, a, a you know he was I wouldn't say. He made me read a lot of Marxist philosophy and, you know, uh, so I just went through a lot of stuff. But, uh, you know, there is a communist side of, uh, you know, in, in a lot of Malus, uh, like we call ourselves, Malus. So, I think that's fantastic because we all believe uh, in equitable living. Uh, we believe in equitable distribution of wealth and I think Kerala is a shining example of that. Yeah, I uh, two things. One is, uh, Namita, I own uh, motorcycles. The the second thing is, I'm doing a film on motorcycle racing uh, in the famous Isle of Man. Uh, just to give you guys uh, an idea, Isle of Man is a small island between Ireland and, and the UK. A very little island. And uh, the entire perimeter of that island is about 36 miles. That's it. And once uh, a year, for a week, they have these races in the Isle of Man. Uh, in the first week of June, the last week of May, where these riders come and they're professional riders and they ride on streets that are probably as wide as Turner Road and they do speeds of up to 340 kilometers an hour. Uh, it is called the greatest show on earth. It is also called the most dangerous race in the world because on an average, one and a half to two riders, on an average, so two riders die every year in those races. and. Um, I've been going to those races uh, because for any motorcyclist uh, to touch the ground is like uh, you've reached the mecca of motorcycling. So the first thing I did when I went there was I touched the ground and I was like, ah, um, this is, I'm here, I'm here. And then I rode, but of course I was a mere mortal. I couldn't ride at those speeds. So these guys were 340, we were at 200, 250, which was not anywhere close to what they were doing. But the experience was just beautiful uh, going, so going around there. So bring a film in the Isle of Man and um, in your book you, you mentioned everything from a GSX 750 and for all you guys here 
who I don't know much about motorcycles. Mupri has been actually one person who is this half Sikh, half Chinese, Chopin Singh, yeah, Chopin Singh, with nine moles ringing his belly button. So it's a very unlikely story. He doesn't believe it, but he still keeps searching for it. So the book is about his search for the motorcycle, and on the way he meets various people, including a Bombay Don who's mad about cars and bikes. He kills people if they don't, if they don't ride well. They are all fictional. They are all fictional, yeah, but He meets Genghis Khan on the way, and finally also meets Bluetooth, the king of the Vikings. Yeah. And then he finally gets to ride the bike. That's what the story is about. The motorcycles are just there, but I think it's also a story of passion and obsession. Because I think he's just alive, I mean, he's just there for the last 10,000 years. Yeah. And it's bikes that give him some kind of meaning in his life. So I just had fun writing it, I think. It's been 10 years since I've been writing this book. Mudli ka, uh, ye jo kitab hai, ye launch hua hai. Uh, the God Who Loved Motorbikes, Motorcycles ke upar hai. Aur, uh, kafi interesting book hai. Uh, Maine kuch, isme se kuch padha hai. Uh, lekin aap Mudli se poochhe iske baare mein, kyunki I think it's a wonderful experience. Aur jis tarike se inhone isme, uh, uh, so you must ask him a little about it. So it's essentially a fantasy where you have a British bike and there's this village god who wants to ride it. That's the whole story about the motor, about the book. बहुत सारे हैं, बहुत सारे bikes हैं, लेकिन मेरे सबसे favourite bike Yamaha RD 350 है, पहली bike थी उसके लिए. It's very special. No, it's a great honour and congratulations, long overdue. और बच्चन साहब को ये congratulations कहना चाहेंगे हम.